All right, folks, this is Lou Riley, and I'm actually out on my walk this morning. I'm actually out at the park. I started my walk. I'm not running today. Still a little tinge of, of back pain, and I'm really wary about pounding it out just yet. I'm going to run again this week. I definitely am, but I definitely got to get my work in because back pain is not an excuse for not exercising, okay? Uh, with that said, I want to tell you guys, it's about, it's a little bit after 7 o'clock here in Nashville. The sun's pretty bright, and it's about 46 degrees. And I know for a fact that there are a lot of you who have been outside getting your running in, getting your exercising in during the spring and during the summer months. And when it gets cold outside, you get a little concerned about it being too cold. Well, let me share this with you. In my opinion, this cold weather is the best time to get outside and work. It's truly the best time. And let me share this secret with you that you don't know. Here's another weight loss secret revealed, okay? When it's cold outside and you get out there and you run or you walk, you exercise, your body, the beautiful machine that it is, is designed to do what all it can to maintain that body temperature of 98.6 degrees, right? So guess what happens when you get outside? Have you ever seen, have you been outside, ever been outside and you've been cold and you start to shiver? Well, that's a, a natural response because that shivering is equivalent to friction. Friction causes heat. That's your body working to warm itself up. So when you're outside in the cold and you're exercising, your body is going to work harder. Your body itself is going to work harder in order to maintain a normalized body heat level. In addition, when you put exercise on top of that, it's like increasing your rate of burn. That make any sense to you, you all? It's not so many scientific terms. I'm just trying to say it the way I understand it. If it's already cold outside, your body is going to work within itself to heat itself up. In addition to that body work that's already going on, you add exercise to it, you're going to increase the amount of heat you produce within your body. That heat is what's gonna burn off that fat, okay? It's just that simple. Very simple physics, very simple physics. So this is Lou Riley coming at you once again from my park in Nashville, just sharing more of these weight loss secrets with you. Some people don't tell you this stuff. I know it, so I got to tell it. I'll see you guys in the next post. Y'all take care.